Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's been 90 days with the latest and greatest from Bose, the QC Ultra headphones. And I'm sending them back. I got five reasons why, as a video professional, I gotta send these back, I'm sorry. Reason number one, even when you plug these in with a wire, it's latency. As a video professional, I can't have any kind of latency when I'm shooting, when I'm editing, time sensitive stuff. I know 35 milliseconds doesn't sound like that much, but if you do the math, it's almost one frame when you're shooting video. So I like noise canceling headphones when I'm filming because I really get to focus on what kind of audio I'm getting in there. And when I'm filming, I don't want it to be late because a lot of times I'm panning and doing stuff depending on what people are saying. I don't want to be lagging. And when I'm editing, it's even worse. So when I'm doing edits to the beat, I can't lose a frame. I just can't do it. Like, nah. All right, reason number two. I mean, the headphones are called the quiet comfort. So being comfy is what they should do best, right? They actually took a step back with these from the QC35. And those are seven years old. I think the design that they did looks a little bit more sleek, but for some reason, it's a little bit more pressure on my head and I tend to sweat more when I'm editing. I mean, I used to take these to the gym. I used to put them on the hand rest just to stretch them out before I go out. Like, you know, it kind of broke them in a little bit, but hey, the QC35s are more comfortable, so I gotta rock with them. Reason number three, and I didn't even expect this. Losing the buttons on these makes them a lot harder to stay connected. Bose claims it has multi-point and switches from device to device, but I've found that it's not as good as the last one. There's something about that button, I'm just used to turning it off and knowing that it's off. I definitely find myself turning them on and turning them off on accident a lot more. So for that reason, I gotta go back to some buttons. All right, number four. It's a minor detail, but I gotta mention it. It's the luxuriousness. Something about this top handle with the plastic just does not feel as good as the old ones. That leather, it just used to feel nice in your hand. Plus this plastic, it shows a lot of fingerprints. And I'm not talking about like when you're eating some chips. I'm talking about just regular life, keeping your hands clean and it still gets fingerprints. So for me, that's a downgrade on these. And lastly, reason number five, the QC Ultras don't really sound that much better than the QCs or the QC35s. Out the box, the Ultras do sound better. It's like it comes with a bass boost. But that's nothing you can't do with EQ. When I'm listening to music, I prefer Spotify because they got a six band EQ. It's a lot better than the Bose app. So as a video professional, I gotta return the Ultras and I'm gonna keep the QCs. Hey, these QC35s might still be in the rotation for my work. Hey, price aside, if they were all the same price, even these seven year old used ones, like I would take my seven year old QC35s over the Ultras just cause I can use them more reliably. They're actually more neutral than both models it's just that they don't have USB-C.